Hi, this is David from Watch David again. I have something really cool again with me, and that means very, very, very many great watches from very, very, very many countries from quite, very, very many brands. I am curious if you like like this format. If I had known before what kind of work this would be, I would not have done it. I would not have done it. So now, from one hour time, a whole week at least. But there are also a few things that I would like to share with you. Because this is important. There is a kind of instruction to the video, because without it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I have now here in between always a lot on the notepad so now I will also read so that I also have everything together. So, there will be only one link and that is to the article in my blog and in the article on my page on my blog. There are then, for each clock, the corresponding links. In any case, there is to each clock the link to the store and if available to the detailed review and if available to the review, video and unboxing etc. Zum Review Video und Unboxing etc. Then a problem with my camera. It somehow does not with the white balance. I have a window on one side. I started in the morning, so I really really started at 8 in the morning, I until 2200 hours, and in total just under 3 days. You can't even imagine that. And when this gets dark, the window the white balance does not adjust. That is, there are videos where very, very dark. Just make one point there brighter, then it's all good again. After that there are brighter units again. So I don't always look the same either, because that was the plan in the morning and in the evening I have finished all of them did not work at all. Therefore sorry at this point. It gets a little darker and my wrist circumference for all again is 19 centimeters. The watches that I have here. I have had, I have also always shown from the front. But there are also watches I no longer have here. There I have accessed the existing video material. That means there is not always a video from the front, but maybe a photo or something similar. The one I just had. If you are up for it, just to the photos, if you want to have, have a calendar for next year, let's say best of diving watches, where you put 13 motifs on it, one on the front page of the calendar and then the 12 months. Can you like to look, whether you of the 18 which are there and also look maybe like to check the blog, maybe is still another diver watch with it. I have now looked around the diving watches which I now also really had in my hand. I had them all in hand. I don't have any now, which I did not have in my hand but had only picked out. And therefore, it is also important to me that not to present any watch that I have not have not had in my hand. But of course you can also use any other any other motif on it, if you like that interests you, so if he is up for it. If yes, write me an email to david at watchdavid.com regarding calendar. And then we will see how we can together, because there are different sizes, etc. Different paper size and and. Exactly, that I still wanted to mention because more and more people ask me about it. The order does not correspond to a rating. So I have the order so from the belly, as it came into my hand now. Came into my hand now. So it's not so place one now, the first place is now the first place and 18 the 18th, but it has no meaning at all. Look at you all, it's in the middle of something great, at the end, at the beginning, middle, everywhere. So just look at all the clocks, you can also go really fast over the table of contents to the individual watches. There you can also find the exact names of the clocks. That's how I'm going to set it up, that at the bottom via the description directly from the table of contents there. And I will certainly have forgotten and there I will have forgotten something. I have for example from many a clock no lug to lug I do not have this information. And I always speak everything freely. I don't have a script here or anything like that, or I think about what I'm saying, but I look at it and then I try to remember it and then I speak it freely. That is, it can always that something is missing. 
Sorry at this point, please ask in the comments. Very important, then I search that out and check with the manufacturer and then I put the info in any case. So ash is on my head and I know that here and in any case definitely something will be missing. Packing etc. They are not explained either, because that gives it then in the detailed reviews or in the videos, if available from the watches, where there is no review and video. If you are interested in the watches, say let me know if I should add something, should add something, or not. It's possible that there's a clock there, nobody is interested in it, then I don't need to do a review of it. And no video. That would be nice if you could info in there. Then it is planned. But that's still to come. There will be a page in my blog, where all 18 watches are again a kind of table, where you could easily sort by centimeter diameter, ascending, descending and case material, case diameter, and and. And as soon as it is online, I will post it in the community. But you will only get an info if you are a subscriber and have activated the and have activated the bell. That's why, if you're interested, subscribe to my channel and then you get there also an info purely. And sorry for the many, many cuts that I have made, but I have really took out my uh, MMMHHH. The way you talk took out, because I believe that this is at least in total 10 to 15 minutes. And that's why it goes bam, 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 bam. So it goes through the videos, and thus I also come to the brevity of the video. It is quite a healthy mix of micro brands and well known brands, because micro brands, with microbrands I grew up. I have a very intimate relationship with microbrands and I am very well wired. And that is why it is also important to me that microbrands are involved here and I, I will also be more involved in this again because there are so many brands, so many cool watches that you all don't have you all don't have on the screen. And it is already important that we just take a look at all of them. I am one of the speakers for the microbrands. I still take my hat off. Exactly. But there are also more and more bigger brands are coming towards me and that's why this is really a great mix. From just under 400 euros to 7,000 euros everything is there. And I am sure, if you are still looking for a diving watch, just just before Christmas, then you will find fine one, I am 100% sure. In any case, please give us some information, whether such a best of for you interesting whether I should make more best of should make. At this point also again very dear thanks that you support the channel, the channel with the bell. Oh well. Sometimes, of course, on the clock still water splashes on it, because I just photographed them. You know the pictures I take and then when you turn it you see that there are water stains and the like are on it. That's not a bad intention. That's just the way it is when they have just from the field and dried. When you are with them on the beach it's just the same. And sometimes here and there you can maybe a piece of foil, which I did not that I have not taken off, because I just didn't need for the video. If I haven't done a detailed review and video, then I, I have only taken one photo of the watch and that can happen. Exactly. And at the very end, I'll show you, let's go into iMovie, and then I'll scroll through it like this, how this looks, how this video looks some looks like, with all the cuts. That's totally crazy, honestly. And this is already on the smallest setting, so smallest. In this size, I cannot edit the I can't edit this at all. But if I do it in the size, I edit it in the size. I think that I scroll two hours only from left to right, that is not possible at all. You don't have to look at it. Who has Bach, can make it times briefly. Yes, and that was the word to the Sunday from me. Now sit back, turn on the sound sound on, look at everything in peace. It's a long video, but we are talking about 18 watches. So have fun. So we come to the first watch from Australia by Duzu Watches. But before we come to this watch, which I, I would like to introduce to you, here the very first watch from Duzu Watches, which I have already presented in 2019. In my blog, the Ningalu Reef, pretty cool alarm clock, check out the store. This variant in this form is no longer available. There are other variants in other colors and also black. All black. Take a look. Are reduced by half, to my knowledge. A very cool watch. And now it's about the second clock, the Wayne and his design team in Australia brought out, the DWD2 Coral Bay. Now that's something different. 
Pretty tough, gnarly watch, I think. 42 millimeters we have here, which looks a little bigger looking, even just here. Please have a look at the crown protection here, yes, it really covers the crown really completely. It's also quite rare to see it like this, I think. The crown usually usually always peeks out. Bleasted stainless steel is an IP coating, with which the hole is coated. When I was in the Azure Coral Bay Reef, that's when I go diving. I don't then, if I then get stuck somewhere on on the coral or swim past, not immediately a scratch is in it. And I find that very very cool about the watch. Just also the mat works together with the black dial, dial really very well. Nice big folding clasp we have here and we also have a diver's extension. Has everything been thought of, and the watch really makes a very, very nice impression. Date we have also in it, is already a cool watch, isn't it? I like it very much. So, Wayne his watches have always always liked. The first one had a lot more going on. This one is a bit more discreet, but just more bam. 300 meters water resistant we have, 316 stainless steel with a thickness of 13.9 lug in length we have 49.5 and 22 millimeters in width. Then we have BGB9 Super Luminova, which is also not not self-evident for this price range. Inside takes the Miyota 9015, which does an excellent job. And number two in the bunch, a beautiful Seiko. Please take a look at this. Seiko Prospects 1968. A new interpretation of the diving clock that came out in 1968. There is also a cool story about it. The original from 1968 accompanied the adventurers into the eternal ice. And that's why this color. It is supposed to be based on glaciers and it is a super winter watch like I think, just suitable for the cool season. It has become really fresh just now. Yes, of course she looks great and she also looks great in summer. But look at it again at the steel. Beautiful false clasp. The fascinating thing about the watch is of course, the dial. Does he see it with this structure? That's really quite stunning. 42 millimeters we have here, with a height of 12.5 millimeters sapphire crystal, lugs are 20 millimeters, 200 meters water resistant. And... We have 186 grams, the power reserve is a very good 70 hours. So, now we see it again from the front at the wrist. Looks great, also with the structure and so. Great. Fits perfectly with casual outfit, but also to the suit. Caliber is the 6 or 35 installed mechanical automatic winding. Manual winding possible. In any case, I find the watch really, really beautiful. A nice daily beater, which one always again and again with pleasure out of the cupboard. Currently the watch is priced at 1.300 euros MSRP for this special edition. Definitely not too much. The 1968 model is of course interesting for Maine. I was born in 68, so that has a completely different a completely different meaning for me. Just this reinterpretation I find really very successful and is something different. Also just to the current times on the subject of environmental protection and company. Also, the topic of glaciers to the front. At the thirder we go we go back into the 50s. And that is the company Spinnaker has reissued its Fluss model. Just came out at the beginning of December. Take a look here. Named after the famous diving engineer. The series has been available for a long time at Spinnaker, now brand new limited edition, it even says on the dial. 450 copies exist. There are three color variants and I have got the white one because I also like it best. Look here, the reflections on the handmade mother of pearl dial looks very cool with the gold colored indices and hands. Super Luminova is also inside. 
Super Luminova haben wir ja auch drin. Unidirectional also Rotating Bezel, 43 mm Diameter, is slightly larger than the two previous, but does not seem quite as large, precisely because the bezel has a different color and also everything is nicely curved. I really like this one. Great, also here the matching steel bracelet with folding clasp. Let me open it up. We also have a dive extension here. Inside, the Seiko NH35 ticks. 43 mm in diameter, a height of 13 mm. Lugs 22 mm, 150 m water depth, 190 grams and the price is 390 euros. Swiss Super Luminova we also have in it, sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Nice on the wrist, looks cool too. Nice retro moderate, very very nice watch for the price, I find really great colors, great size, wears really very very comfortable. Number 4 is for real fans who love military history. Look here, the company Ballast has just released this watch. Bangers or in bronze colors. Namely, the clock after the first submarine, which the US Navy put into service. Put into service. And that was Holland Automatic. Interesting is here this watch is the crown. I can turn it up and then this folds out like this. Und dann klappt das hier so raus. What comes out is a small crown that I can then pull out and then I can adjust everything. Is already good what's going on on the dial. Nicely curved. Here's the back side. Do you see the submarine on it? Is always a bit difficult. Where do such watches belong? It's not a real diver's watch, after all. However, it can withstand a water water resistance up to 200 meters. And that is why I have included it here. Tape lug here we have 24 millimeters and the case diameter is 47 millimeters. The height is 15 millimeters and that's a stainless steel case, which was simply colored brown. It is not bronze, 250 grams the watch weighs, is of course already neat, but clear with the size. Interesting is the clasp with the submarine on it. The small piece also still on the wrist. What a beast. But the bracelet tapers towards the bottom. Quite good. I wouldn't go diving with it right now. But it is rather the watch for everyday life, for the absolute military fan or who finds such watches from optics very well finds. But nevertheless I could dive with the I could dive 200 meters with the watch, which I find very good and therefore I have included it. In 2019 I got this very first ballast I got. Trafalgar. Check out this fat leather strap, also this awesome backside. I thought that was so cool done, also here already with the part, which you then opens to get to the crown. But here also beautiful with a horny plate. So I found the clocks at that time somehow fascinating. I don't wear them that often, but I look at I like to look at them again and again in my watch case. And this one even made it on my business card, which I then 2019 on the Basel world, no Rolex and co. No, that was the ballast, because I just just found the colors totally cool. And that's why I wanted to have this photo on my business card. From number 5, there is already a big review in my blog. That was in May 2021, I have I haven't shot any videos yet. Who are we talking about? The guys from Oldenburg. Tim and Malty from Vandag and I brought the TFC automatic in grey. That's also a cool watch, isn't it? I know the two already a little bit longer and I have almost all watches from Vandag already in front of the lens. The watches are really top processed, price, performance, really a killer and the both also know what they will do. They create watches for brands worldwide. So what was more natural to also, to start your own brand? And out came Van Dag and here just very very beautifully the deep sea. 41.5 mm diameter, 316 stainless steel case and on the strap. From the height we have each 12.5 mm and we can dive 200 meters with it. Then we have the nice bracelet with the folding clasp very easy to open. Strap lug we have here 22 mm and we also have quick change bars for faster strap change, as you can see. 
Sapphire crystal is also included, with dual anti-reflective coating, Luminova NCW1000. The limitation is 999 pieces with individual serial number. The gray version is called Van Dag Balance. Then there is a blue, the calm one and the black one. In terms of price, we are here at 399 euros on the steel and on the textile strap 359 euros. So this is already really very, very good. So number 6 is about the first watch I present with compressor technology. This time from Singapore. RZE. Check out the cool part. Complete titanium case, 40 mm diameter. And what I find pretty cool now is this edge. And the watch looks really visually very small, and I find that pretty awesome, I must say. It is extremely light. The compressor trend 2022 has started. I'm curious to see what happens in 2023. The RZE Super Compressor is definitely definitely the good value entry for all those who want to have a compressor clock would like to have. Actually, this is about this watch is a field watch, but since it is water resistant to 200 meters it is water resistant and can also pass as a diver, I thought I would I thought I'd include it. Yes, some will beat me now regarding the bezel, it's over the upper crown. Take out the crown, rotatable in both directions, of course, and has nothing to do with A to do with a diving bezel. Nevertheless, I can go diving with the watch. Sure, in the 100% sense it would not be a diving watch now, but, so I think it is. It is a nice hermaphrodite of both worlds. Nice folding clasp, opens normally. Inside takes a high beat movement, the Miyota 90S5 automatic. Titanium case as already mentioned several times and titanium bracelet with ultra hex coating in matte. It has a hardness up to 1200 HV. Web width we have 20 mm, the case height is 12 mm. So on the wrist it makes a properly really cool figure, because it is so nice and small. And since the bezel is inside, it makes it look even smaller. So I'm not aware that I've ever had such a small watch before. Yes, it has 40 mm, but felt. It is much smaller and it is extremely light. So one has the feeling one has no clock at all. This is really really cool, I must say. Yes, the cool thing is of course also the price. 699 euros. Who on the compressor technology even can do without? Save even 150 euros and takes the Resolute base model. What do you say to that? I think it is very good. Who knows the famous Von Buren case? He now knows what it's all about. And it's a watch from the 70s. 1521 to whom this also says nothing, then I say now which clock it is about which mark. Namely the Swiss traditional brand Squale. Look at the cool part please have a look, in ocean blue. Boa, I am totally flashed. Squale 1521, 50 ATM, 500 meters, is a real classic and has contributed to the technical development of professional divers. This must be said quite clearly and many don't even have that on their radar. What do we have here? Unidirectional rotating bezel. Anti-reflective sapphire crystal. First you think, the dial is printed wrong, that it is further to the left. Nah, it's all supposed to be like that. And this clock is also available in umpteen variants, in umpteen colors with different bracelets. I am sure you will find find your watch in any case. Price-wise we are at the good piece at 996 euros on the steel band. So, here on the arm. Awesome.
I am not such a fan of colors, but the one with the mesh and the blue with the sunburst. Very, very awesome. The first sporting successes were 1968, again my birth year, in Cuba. Their one got the world diving title and then it went steeply uphill with Squail. Must have an every watch collection and if you have a detailed review of it of it, let me know. So, now everything is going to be different. And this is with the Anders man from Hong Kong. But do not let this confuse you confused by this, because the whole clock will be in Biel in Switzerland, including Dem ETA movement and if you now dive really deep to 3000 meters, then you might have you might have found your watch. Please have a look this slice times. Black beauty in pure form. Okay, everything is really black here. Here is still the foil on it. I already had five Andersman in my hand. I have five detailed reviews in my blog, all without video, because I haven't made any videos yet. But look at them in any case. The watches are beyond reproach. The quality is really tip-top. Let's go into it now. 47mm housing diameter we have. Case length 56mm and the lug width is 26mm. Height is 20mm. For the case we are talking about a complete titanium case of class 5 including DLC coating. All over as far as the eye can see including crown and also the clasp is also completely made of titanium and also DLC coated. The diver in pure form, beautiful in front with the blue second hand. The bezel is unidirectional rotating and on the back it also again very big. Because, if one then at 2500 meters arrived, that one maybe can look at it again or in front. And lo and behold, I can still do 500, hahaha ha, ha, then we have the sapphire crystal here, do you see the curvature here? Double curved sapphire, 4.5 millimeters thick with anti-reflective coating, helium valve, you can see here, I hope, the hole is current on a rubber strap, a leather set is a leather set is included. Leather strap you can also see here how fat they are. The bezel also made of titanium DLC coated with ceramic inserts which is pretty cool. There are only 100 of them in the world. When gone, gone. Then we come to the heart, which we of course don't see, what's obstructed. The Swiss Automatic Caliber ETA 2892-2. Bam. Now please take a look at this. 47 millimeters emblazoned here on my wrist. I think it's totally cool, this matte black. That's also really, really, really cool. Can't say it any other way. The ETA mangle makes the watch even more special. And now when we come to the price, you will say, what? We're talking about $2,180 here. This is really an absolutely justified, fair price for what is offered here. Take a good look at everything. In my blog, on the site and I am sure that you will find your watch there if you want to dive really deep dive. Sherpa watches. The next mark is coming up and this time I don't have a watch for it. That's two in total. This is the first one. OPS, the second one comes directly after. Who else knows Anikar SA? The watch brand, the old original Sherpa watches. And Martin Bell, the founder of Sherpa Watchers, has looked at practically everything. The whole story and everything and found that so ingenious that he decided to start his own brand. He's built a really cool team. From the clock there is a very big review in my blog and there is also a video where I present the whole watch. Therefore now here also like others only the short version with all specifications. I just can't put it in the hand but I have to access the access the video material. Now.
Nice the case and the dial with the distinctive second hand and the inner bezel, which I can turn via the upper crown. And here the back also black. All DLC. The whole case very distinctive, the two crowns not screwed. I pull them out and press them on and already I have 200 meters waterproof. Already very impressive. The bracelet is made of vulcanized. Rubber, feels very soft to the touch and wears really very very comfortable. Look straight here, with the two distinctive crowns and the crown protector. With the upper one, I turn the bezel, with the lower one I set the time etc. Unfortunately, the movement is not visible. It is a Celiata SW201-1, which was also refined. On the back we see the diving helmet. The movement is called Mantranatic MM01. Here again from the front on the wrist, of course it looks great. Height is 13 5mm, diameter 40mm diving depth 200 meters 38 hours power reserve is already a very cool one isn't it sure the price 5800 euros this is already a board however if you look at the whole story and everything the price is the price is justified but yes you can get other models but yes whoever finds these watches horny you can't get past them away from mainstream boards to sherpa watches one also still supports projects there read all this exactly once through the blog i can only recommend this watch so half time we have the first nine. And now a little self-promotion. Please follow my channels. On Instagram you can find me under WatchDavid. Then on LinkedIn I can be found to be found under David Drilling. And also under WatchDavid. On Pinterest I am also under WatchDavid. On TikTok I can be found under WatchDavid underscore official. Feel free to follow me on these channels. I am sometimes here, sometimes there on the road, like it just comes into my head, and which idea I just have, what I want to post. I'm very happy about that. Be sure to leave a subscription here, watch David DE, but with bells. There is also the English channel Watch David, which I am reactivating just a little bit again. I will upload the video there too for all English speaking fans. And therefore very important that you watch which channel you are on. Because when you find Watch David, it can be that you follow the English English channel and wonder. Stupid doesn't happen anything. Because currently I don't post there so many videos as here in the German channel. Many thanks at this point and that you support my channel here so. Please do the same. Which of course also helps. Like to share the video, click on share and share it in your friend groups on WhatsApp, Telegram, wherever. Because there are certainly more people who are interested in diving watches and where you say gee, that should be the should have a look at it. Maybe there's the right one there. That das helps hilft mir natürlich auch sehr und vielen Dank an der Stelle. Eigenwerbung erstmal Ende. Here now the second group of Sherpa watches, the Ultra Dive this is now practically the glossy version of the Opie's version, that we saw before, is a bit more sensitive than the OPS version with the DLC coating. In return, of course, it looks fancy. It's a very different watch, it's a completely different look. Even with the white vulcanized strap is ultimately different from the dimensions and from the dimensions and the like exactly the same watch. Again, detailed review on the blog. The video is also online. There you will find all info you need. Now we look again the details of the clock. Now nice to see the case, the bright, highly polished and also nice to see the two crowns, dial and detail, nice with the indices and the 3D logo. The crown protector for both crowns, here the crown from the side with the diamond pattern, here on the back the well-known diver, nice in detail. I really like the back really very well. The vulcanized rubber strap, 20mm lug, nice with clasp, Sherpa logo, inlaid bezel adjustable via the adjustable via the upper crown and here the lumen picture at night, also looks very cool. Dimensions like the OPS, 40 mm diameter, a height of 13.5 mm, crown shot for both crowns, the Celita SW201-1 installed. It's also refined. Martin Block calls the whole Mantramatic M01. Unfortunately you can't see it because of, of the closed case bottom. Instead, we see the beautiful diving helmet. Here we see it again at the wrist, once from above. 
From the front, I didn't take it, so I can't show it to you. So shown here from above, still with my old light, makes in any case on the wrist a really good figure. And I like the Ultra Drive, that is to say this variant, better than the black one. Normally I am always such a black fan, but in this case, I really like the Ultra Drive variant really better. Two really great watches. Now it is only up to you which one you will choose. 5,800 euros for the OPS and 5,900 euros for the Ultra Dive variant. Not a bargain price, but all that is is built in there, even with the crown, but it's not screwed down and still 200 meters water resistant and everything. That's really super. Check out the two reviews, both videos. It's definitely worth it. It's all linked. Already founded in Bamberg in 2017 by Martin Zettel. And now I tell you the model Kleipa at F1253 in Prussian blue. This is a really cool story which you can read about Martin Zettel. How he got the idea to build this watch. And it is already the third watch in his watch history. But a highlight is certainly the movement, which is made by from the House of Damaso. The manufacture caliber 26.2, which is a bit modified before installation in this really great watch with nice edges. And yes, in unique design, I think. If you want something different, not always off the shelf, you should have a look at this watch, take a closer look at this watch. I don't have the watch at hand either, but I already had it here for a detailed review including video, all in the blog RESP. Here on YouTube and I use the existing material and will watch that now to go through the specifications, the dial at this shade of blue, and with the orange second hand and the orange lettering. But I also like this bezel with the circular saw look, that is really pretty cool, I must say. Both variations, let's look at both. Once on the steel and once on NATO. I find it NATO, especially in the summer just here from the front, it looks it looks really great. Well, what do we have? 47 millimeters in diameter, 12.5 millimeters in height only, extremely flat, is of course partly due to the Damasco movement. Anti-reflex coating, sapphire crystal is installed. Then we have 200 meters of water resistance, 42 hours power reserve, 3 year warranty. The price is 2,900 euros. And I can only say, so this watch has flashed me from the beginning. I thought the look was pretty cool. I actually don't like bezel has the same color as the case if everything is silver, but in this case, even through these corners and edges, this sharp edged, this sharp edged optics gave me the really super extremely well and I can only tell you, look at the watches also the two other watches that have already come out. This is really worth seeing, what was built here. Also just because of the manufactured caliber from Damasco. Is it in any case a consideration to have a closer look at the to have a closer look? And now it's off to Switzerland again, and this time to Davosa. I brought you two watches. Let's start with the Argonautic BGBS Automatic in white, but about that there are also something new, namely the so-called Beyond Steel, the Beyond Steel, which is said to be as diamonds. There you must absolutely look at the detailed review in my blog and also the detailed video on YouTube. I tear now quasi only briefly the data, so that you know whether the watch is interesting is interesting for you or not. I don't have it at the moment. A customer saw them and really wanted to have them. So here we also access to the video footage. Now we're going to look at everything. If you have any questions, please ask. Here we see the good piece now. Looks great with the bezel. Very nice also with the second hand. Quite a great watch. I I also like the dial very much with the logo on top and Argonautic BG at the bottom with orange lettering. Looks very strong to me. 300 meters of water depth we have here. Very nice to see here. The crown with the Davosa logo, beautiful with crown protection. The helium valve is revised with helium sign here briefly. 
Zeichen, Leon arm and wrist arm roll. And wrist roll. Looks, looks really good. Really, good. really has to be said. The, the bracelet is made of stainless steel. steel. Here's Super Luminova BGW9 installed. Lights up great for night diving. Here you can see the watch in all its glory again, in all its glory, also on the wrist. As I said, it looks really very well. 51, 2 mm lug to lug. The case back is screwed, automatic. The so called caliber D of 3021 has as basis the Celita SW200 1 Elabor. Elabor is more accurate than the standard version. And here we also see a nice photo on the wrist. Really cool, isn't it? I think that's really strong. Especially with the new material Beyond Steel. The Beyond Steel has a Mohs hardness of 9.5. This is almost as hard as diamond. That's pretty impressive. There you really have to think about you want the ceramic bezel or go for the new steel. I find that visually also a really cool round thing and fits perfectly to this watch. Have a look at the watches and the models in the store. There are several variants with different bezels and different colors. And I am sure that you will find your watch there. 928 euro costs the good GHR only on the steel. And as shown here, this is really an absolutely fair price for what is offered here. Let's move on to the second watch from Davosa. The Ternos Ceramic GMT in Pepsi. Long time no watch more that polarized so much at the detailed review here at YouTube. But seriously, that what is offered here on the part of Davosa is really tip-top, great workmanship. If you like this design, you should should definitely go for this watch, also if it is a reinterpretation of the Rolex. But the price is only a fraction of which. And who has fun with such watches and loves such watches, be it in the different variants, should take a closer look, should definitely take a closer look at this watch. The detailed review is in the blog, the video is also online. Therefore we also access here to the video material. I don't have the watch anymore. We'll go through the specs. Maybe this is something for you guys. If yes, have a look at everything in detail in the blog and review. Here we see it again from the beginning. Nice Pepsi design. Many people want to wear to wear such a design. That's just the way it is. 40 mm diameter we have here and a height of 12.2 mm, which is really very good. The sapphire crystal anti-reflective coating, as you would expect, and we have here a maximum diving depth of 200 meters. The Davosa 3032 is installed. Base is the Celita SW330-1 Superluminova is also used. BGW9, GMT function, Pepsi design, 40 mm. The trend goes to small watches on the wrist. Also cuts a great figure here. Or, in the old light. You see here also in detail beautifully, with the magnifying glass on the date. I find timeless and very very sporty. Beautiful red and blue ceramic bezel. I especially like this one. Absolutely iconic design. There's something about that, isn't there? I mean the one that's all built in here. And in the quality level the price of 1,458 euros is more than justified. All I can say is, I like the watch. I also wear such watches and I have no problem with it, even if this is practically an interpretation. But everyone must know that for himself. Look at all the models. At Davosa on the homepage there are different variations of different tapes, really a great selection and in terms of price slash performance what is offered here is really top. If you are interested in such watches you will also find here. Let's go on. Let's move on to a traditional brand from Switzerland, Titoni. They have recently released a new C-Scoper, the C-Scoper 300. Take a look at this one please. The detailed review is already in the blog including video at YouTube. Think some already know this. For those who don't know it, there you can see everything. If you think the clock is interesting for you, I will show you and tell you now the most important specifications about the watch. This variant has the reference number 383300 SB706. This is exactly this color variant with 
Three years warranty for this one. It is a certified chronometer, so there's an extra year of warranty. The diameter is 42 millimeters. Here also have a nice protective crown on the side. The height is 12.55 millimeters. Sapphire crystal is installed with anti-reflective coating. Nice and flat. We have here a ceramic bezel which is only unidirectional rotatable. So typical diver bezel 0.30 bar, i.e. 300 meters water depth. The name says, then we have a Celita SW 200 to 1 installed. Automatic movement with 40 hours power reserve. Everything is made of 316 stainless steel. The case, the bracelet, etc. The bracelet. Nice to see and nice the clasp. Beautiful drop clasp can open very easily. But the cool thing is that there is a diver's extension. And here you can see the logo. And if we press on it on the clasp, then we have a diver's extension here. Flight it in and out in and out. Do you see that? But that's pretty cool. Totally well hidden. Yeah, looks cool too. Nice to the business dress in a suit. Makes such a diver always a great figure. Especially with the dark blue bezel and the the black dial. Boa, super cool. 1.615 euros calls Titoni for this variant. But it can also be cheaper if you choose other bracelets. Just go to the page, look for the matching color with the matching bezel. There are many variants with many many different bracelets. And I am sure that you will find you will find your watch there. And then we have the watch fans, for whom the Seascoper 300 from Titoni is not enough. There is already for many Seascoper 600 for many years. But now Titoni has gone one better and brought out the Titoni 600 Carbon Tech out. Case is made entirely of carbon. And this is really an absolute blast. The watch comes in three colors. I show you now the black and blue version. Also here the detailed review is already in the blog. Video is also online. Definitely check out the watch. T10 manufactured caliber is installed. We now see the good piece. The first time. The nice thing about the blue-black version is that the hands are also blue and the logo and the border of the three large numerals. This is not the case with the other models and that's why I found this variant the most harmonious. Nice with the lettering 1968 feet, again my date of birth. That's why I thought this watch was so cool. Nice loom to see here, I also like it wonderfully. Then nice view into movement T10 manufacture caliber, in-house, and here we see the good piece from the front. Fully wound, the T10 manufacturer offers caliber 3 days power reserve, i.e. 72 hours. That's really quite impressive. And that's in this cool case. The textile strap is made of ocean plastic, by the way. What you see here is really very sustainable and fits perfectly to the watch. This is the best match of all three variants, in my opinion. And in total, there's a three-year warranty. 600 meters of water depth. As already mentioned, helium valve, Swiss Super Luminova, is installed. Once here on the rubber strap, the carbon case is very striking with its structure. And also look briefly at the helium valve. Yes, it really looks super. I really like it. You can also see here briefly already the bracelet. On the rubber strap, you can briefly see how the folding clasp works. But as I said, watch the video very important. Highly interesting. This watch really packs a punch. It's a great watch. Super sporty. Just now, when the summer comes again and then you only need the right color and then you're ready to go. And if you know a channel knows that a brand must not be missing. Correct. G-Shock. The cult diving watch from the 90s has been completely reissued. 30 years of Frogman. The detailed review is already online, also with video. That's why I'll now briefly go into the specifications, if you are interested. 
Follow the links, watch the, the video. Resin and titanium. This is a great mix. The resin is also hardly susceptible to dust, feels good to the touch. Is again a bit smaller than the other current watches. 50.3 mm by 50.2 mm, the case height 18 mm, mineral crystal case, the back with the frog. The frog always has different features, depending on the model 200 meters waterproof. Powered by solar movement named CTL 1616. 599 euro is the MSRP. So here it is now on the wrist and you can see very nice, by the fact that this is cut out the watch can go a little bit further back and I have no problems at all to move the arm. But it is as if the watch is on in front. Very cool. Where's really great. The bracelet with titanium buckle. I did not have them on my screen and now I love them. And I am also glad that I got one. Trying to get another one. Google's where he can get another one. So, now let's have a look to the neighboring country, to the neighboring country, namely to France. There we look much too too little, in my opinion. Because there are really, especially in the area diving watches really, really cool brands and great watches. Le Forban Securite Mer. If I pronounced it right. My French was always not that good. The mark existed. Has been around for decades and it has now been. Look at the backside. Please. Bow of. Mega with the diving helmet. I find really cool. Nice in 3D. The mark was revived by Jean Sebastian and it was existed for several decades. The detailed reviews of the first two watches that came out are in my blog. I written at the beginning of 2021. I have this year, in the early summer, with Jean Sebastian at the Côte d'Azur. We were at the historic Hotel Negresco to have a coffee in Nice and have exchanged there and has given me his new ideas and visions and watches. And I can tell you, there is really something great for you. Now let's take a look at the clock. The watch is the the model La Malouine. It comes in two colors, one in blue and also with blue band and once in black, as we see it here. Cool is the so-called Tropic Band which in the 60s the band was on diving watches and it's homemade. So it is not off the shelf and I have not seen such a tape before. It really has a totally great feel to it. Look here, also with the waves in there. Very nice design and also with the clasp here super made. So really great. Really nice retro watch. 316 stainless steel, 39 mm diameter we have here. Automatic transmission Miyota 8215 is installed, and here the backside with the diving helmet. Reminds of old military watches from France. 490 euros. Absolutely fair price for what is offered there. And you wear a watch with guaranteed just in Germany. Because I have not yet met anyone with this watch seen or from the watch brand and but it is very comfortable to wear. Water depth 150 meters. The bezel is unidirectional rotatable with 120 clicks. The bracelet is made of 100% silicone, lug is 20 millimeters lug to lug we have here 45 millimeters. It's very nice on the wrist. Very light, very comfortable to wear by the band. So this is a great watch. Also nice with the curvature. Here, see this? The glass. Nice vintage diver from France. Look at the page and see if there is something for you. If your heart beats for France or for French military watches or military watches in general in the field of diving watches, then you are exactly right here. Shall we let it out? The beast? Out of the casket? Ha, huh, now I have something really good from France with manufacture caliber. Here, the name really says it all. Please have a look at this part. Is this the banger, or is this the banger? Ralph Tech the Beast. The Beast. Limited to 77 pieces. Diving depth 3,000 meters. 
Did you know that the average depth of the oceans is 3,682 meters? And Ralph Tech wanted to beat this surpass this and went with the submarine manufacturer Triton went down to 4,000 meters. And lo and behold, everything holds. Up to 3,000 meters it is practically certified, but 4,000 meters she also made it. Ralph Tech is a household name in the industry. Special forces and the Navy of France and similar special forces where Ralph Tech watches. The whole story, the whole history behind it is really great. And if you look at this part, now also the tape here. Boa, yes, look here also how nice and fat this is. And so, that's really cool. A detailed review is available if you are interested in the watch. Then I'll dig out everything, tell the story summarize everything compactly and then you can read through at your leisure or look it up in the video. Now it's all about the key facts, whether you are interested in the watch or not. Can you maybe decide after that and give me an info whether this is so or not? What do we have here? 47.7 millimeters in diameter. Height is 17 millimeters. The sapphire crystal is 6 millimeters thick, one of the strongest sapphire crystals of a mass-produced watch. Old radium super luminova. The case walls made of stainless steel have in critical critical load zones have a thickness of 12 millimeters in order to be able to take to be able to take strong blows. So the watch is really made for beastly operations. Due to the newly developed encapsulation system the back is extremely deep into the case integrated so that a certified diving depth of up to 3,000 meters is possible. Inside ticks an absolute heart. French manufacturer caliber of the manufacturer. Piquignet is the first manufacturer automatic movement, which is completely made in France, with bidirectional with bidirectional winding. 48,800 vibrations, 77 hours power reserve. The strap. Nice inside with leather, outside with textile, which is also water resistant. As you can see on the photo. Yes, the tape also has such a vintage touch. As if this is already 20 to 30 years worn. So, this is really, really awesome. The back is cool, too, of course. I still have the foil on it, but do you see the skull? Special forces, diving service provider and similarly put on the watches of Ralph Tech, very specific commands. The French have some special units and they are almost all equipped with watches from Ralph. The bezel is unidirectional rotatable with 120 clicks. Thanks to the matte seramfine ceramic inlay extremely resistant. You can also beautiful from the side. Nice to see the ribbon here. Outside textile and in end beautiful leather. The beast is of course on the wrist also very beastly. All clear. Please have a look at this huge thing, bow. Of course you notice it too. But, yes, when he goes to the beach goes to the beach, in swimming trunks. And have this alarm clock at BOA. Then I have a pretty big place where you don't get a tan. Yes, we have here just of all watches briefly presented today yet various benchmarks. 3,000 meters, we already had from the Andersman, 6 millimeters thick sapphire crystal, unique. 77 hours power reserve, unique. 77.7 millimeter diameter, unique. So, yes, the first manufacturer caliber, which was completely built in France, also unique. 7.000 euros. In the steel variant, where it is not black, 6.800 euros. As it was also tested, with everything around which I can't explain here in the shortly everything cannot explain. Is this really a watch, which belongs every diver's watch collection? I really have to say that. And if I had the choice between between Rolex and the Ralph Tech, I would choose the I would take the Ralph Tech. Yes. So, that was something, wasn't it? I have now really in a pig gallop through the juckled. And as mentioned at the beginning what kind of work that was. 
I would like to know which three are your favorites. Do you have any favorites? Or do you say, bah, that I am missing, that is missing, that is missing, or what do you say? So I would be really interested this format, because it has been really been a pig's work. Glad me in any case, when you liked the last. In any case, if you like my channel with Bell, I cannot say it often enough. Then I show you now a short screen scroll. Sorry. Now I already have a frog in my throat, can't speak properly anymore. Sorry. Screen scroll from my iMovie file. I only work with professional program, iMovie ha, because this is easiest for me. Final cut I have also, there is too many bells and whistles, because I don't use I don't use any effects or anything. Is scroll through so you can see, how this looks, how this whole video looks like. Thank you very much, for for watching this far. And yes, I'm definitely glad, that you are there, that you are faithful. And I hope it was an interesting video for you, and you were able to take something away. Then I did everything right. So in that sense I make a wish. Also, in dem Sinne, ich wünsche Take dir was. Take care. Mach's gut. Ciao. Ciao.